All right, everybody, welcome back to part five. Let's take a look at this thing. It's dried now, let it dry for three days just to kind of fully cure. And I can tell you guys, this epoxy paint, this is some good stuff. I know it's expensive, but this thing came out looking very, very good. I mean, very good. And so today we're gonna cut some holes in this thing now. I got a two and a half inch hole saw bit, 64 millimeters for those of you in everywhere else in the world. And we're gonna start cutting this. So I started off cutting this really slow. The problem is trying to get this hole saw bit to fit in there perfectly. It's a little bit of a trick. Um, I'm trying not to make this hole any bigger or out of round, not that it will really matter that much, but just trying to cut it right on the money. Um, and it just takes a little bit of time, as you can see. I started with running the bit in reverse to put a groove in it. And then once I got the groove in it, then I started really cutting into it, as you can see right here. And again, just took my time, took my time, took my time. We're gonna come back and waterproof this, this hole, and I'll show you in a little bit. And here we go, cutting through, final little spot. Put it in high gear now, zoom. And we're through. And there's the core. See all the different layers in it, kind of cool. And again to the other side, um, same same thing. Just took my time cutting it. Bada bing, bada boom. Got a little piece of that towel with it. And let's go ahead and check the hatches. And yes, 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 they fit perfectly. Um, at this moment, I was kind of like super relieved. Everything's coming together and uh, fantastic. So now we just gotta waterproof that wood that's exposed and seal that area up. And we'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, so we got some resin mixed up here. Just uh, two pumps of resin, two pumps of hardener. And we're gonna coat this bare wood. So first I grabbed this small little chip brush. Um, you know, it's just, I was worried it was gonna get resin everywhere. So I went ahead and guess, grabbed a popsicle stick and uh, and that worked just fine. So now I'm just going around the hole, coating everything, just making sure I got it. Here's a little bit of a close up look for you. And I'm gonna do two coats. This is the first coat. And again, just going around. And all done, I'm gonna pull my masking tape off. That way no tape gets epoxied in there. And a little wipe of acetone everywhere, just to make sure it's all cleaned up. And then there you go, finished product right there. Cut one done. All right, so now we're gonna add this um, fairing filler, this West Systems 407 to the epoxy. We're gonna get a peanut butter um, consistency as you see here. See the epoxy doesn't wanna run off that um, stick. And so now we're just gonna go around the hole here. We're gonna just smear this on. This will allow it to stick to the sides, not run down. If there's any little pits or holes, it's gonna fill those voids, almost like spacking on drywall. Um, and uh, this thing should be waterproof. This thing should be good to go. Should be able to throw it in the lake and nothing should happen. This, plat this will most likely outlast the boat would be my guess. So I'm just gonna smear this on. And again, popsicle stick work worked best. Came back with my finger too as well and just kind of wiped it down. And, uh, uh, and that's it. So we're gonna get this put on and let it dry. Alrighty, so now epoxy's dried. I'm gonna come back with my bilge paint and I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint these holes. This is the first coat, it hasn't dried yet. I'm gonna do one more and then this thing is done. All right guys, finished product. Hatches are in, or latches are in I should say. Everything turned out perfect. Super happy with this. Uh, uh, and that's all I can say. Saved myself a ton of money doing it myself and I learned something. Uh, so we're pretty much, we are done with this video playlist. Um, I gotta do some gel co repair on the top of this, which you'll see in another video. Um, but that's it. Latches on the top. And uh, everything's good to go. Very happy, very, very happy. I hope you enjoyed this video series, everyone.